for William would love to fight him. Mm -hmm. William, I would love to make William Cepeda versus Shakur Stevens. I, I literally would. So Shakur, please come back out of retirement. <laughs> okay, let's make that fight happen. Okay. Hey Shakur, so you say nobody wants to fight you? Well, check out William Cepeda Saturday night on the Zone. He's begging me to fight you. See you there. <laughs>
which allowed them to cherry pick and basically fight whoever they wanted for the biggest paydays. It made no sense that Demetrius Andre, Gennady Golovkin, and Canelo Alvarez were all signed to the same network and neither Canelo or Golovkin was ever forced to fight against Demetrius Andre. When Demetrius Andre not only fought on the same network, but he was a champion in the same division. Outside of Canelo and Golovkin fighting against each other in the rematch, a fight against Demetrius Andre would have been the biggest fight for either one of them. So Golovkin and Canelo, they were permitted to rob the fans and the zone blind. But William Zapata, he might not be able to do the same thing even though he wants to. We'll see if he gets away with it or not. Meanwhile, Shakur Stevenson, he responded to what Coach Panda said. And he said, I respect everything Panda said. He watched me grow up in the sport. He understands my level and knows the business. He just wants the most money for his fighter if he's going to take bigger risk. I respect it, but that's very disappointing. Oscar talked a big game. Now, even what Shakur Stevenson is saying is not making any sense because once again, guys, William Zapata, he would have made the biggest payday fighting against Shakur Stevenson hands down. And that's what Shakur Stevenson should have said. Because I can guarantee you the next time we interview Oscar De La Hoya and tell him what William Zapata's trainer said, he will once again confirm that William Zapata would get the biggest payday fighting against Shakur Stevenson just because of the high risk. Something else Shakur Stevenson said, he said, Coach Panda, he knows the business. Coach Panda, he also said in that interview that, you know, this is a business and people have to understand this is a business. And what he means when he says this is a business is losing is bad for business, which he would be right. That's why fighting against Max Hughes is good for their business. See, Shakur Stevenson fighting against William Zapata, that would be good business for Shakur Stevenson because he's most likely going to beat the brakes off of William Zapata. Losing is never good for business unless you're going to get enough money to retire. And let me make one last point. You also heard Coach Panda say, you know what, why the Mexican can't make money let him make his money, etc., etc. William Zapata has a Mexican promoter. So Oscar is going to have William Zapata's interest, best interest, before he has Shakur's because Shakur is not even a zone. He's not even a golden boy fighter. He's a top rank fighter. You guys remember when Canelo went over to the zone and he was trying to make a little deal because he didn't want to fight David Benavidez? And you guys remember what Oscar De La Hoya said? He said, I don't know. He said, I don't see the Jaime Munguia fight happening because... Who's going to pay him that type of guarantee that Canelo Alvarez is asking for? One of the reasons Oscar De La Hoya said that is because he wanted to make sure that his fighter, Jaime Munguia, got paid well. He didn't want to see Canelo Alvarez eat and run, snatch all the money, and then run. Oscar wasn't going to allow Canelo Alvarez to make all the money, leave Jaime Munguia and Golden Boy with crumbs, and then bounce back to PBC. And this is something else when it comes to William Zapata. If William Zapata were to fight Shakur Stevenson right now and beat him, his stock would go up and he would make way more money. Not only would he make his biggest payday against Shakur Stevenson, but then he would be worth even way more if he were to beat Shakur. Meaning he would have way more leverage if he were to go into a fight with a Cambosis, a Lomachenko, or a Javante Tang Davis. Speaking of Javante Tang Davis, William's trainer, he didn't even mention Javante's name. He said, we want to fight against George Cambosis or Lomachenko. That means they're not interested in a Shakur Stevenson or a Javante Tank Davis. And we know they definitely were never interested in a Devin Haney fight when he was at 135. So if it's up to William Zapata, it's completely MBF all day. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.